Developments tonight in the body parts found in Macomb County. DNA results have opened the door on two possible murder mysteries. Now, the parts were found in sewers in Warren and Sterling Heights. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash explains the mystery from Warren tonight. They now know those two sets of body parts are two different women, but who were they and how did they end up down there? We need some answers and we don't have those answers as of yet. The DNA results are in and Warren police now know that the two pieces of human flesh found by crews working on the sewer line near 10 Mile and Shaner in December don't belong to the woman whose remains were found four months earlier in a Sterling Heights sewer line. The fact that the body parts come from a different person. The same crew that found the Warren body parts found these tattooed body parts while working on the sewer line in Sterling Heights last August. The body parts in Warren have no identifying marks, but police say in both cases, the pieces of human flesh are those of white women. The remains are similar in size, shape, and cutting pattern. Based on the way they were cut and based on the size, indicates at this point that it's not medical waste. But that's not to say it's been, it's been ruled out. So we're dealing with this as a homicide right now. Police have searched missing persons databases and criminal databases. So far, no matches and no clues on how the remains ended up here. A house drain, yeah, could be used. Yes, business, trains. Well, that's why there's so many possibilities and that literally you can have a thousand theories at this point. Suzanne Forger lives in Warren right behind the spot where the body parts were discovered. Yes, we've been wondering. It's scary in some points. It, it is. It, it's Now there's two different people out there. Now police are just asking for the public's help as they try to solve this mystery. In Warren, a new Prakash 7 Action News.